Hello everyone, in the next video from Flashpoint Campaign Sovereign Storm and today we are continuing a final push scenario and as far as I remember last time we've deployed half of our forces uh, including our reconnaissance element uh, let me unfold all those tabs I don't know why they are always folded okay now so uh, as I've said reconnaissance elements are uh, deployed uh, also B company mechanized infantry company uh, and what else let me let me take a look okay so we are left with D and A company D company is a tank but uh, tank company or armored company and A company is mechanized infantry again with some supportive elements of air defense and <coughs> anti-tank platoon okay so let me grab my tank platoon uh, or even three of them I will move them to the left for now <coughs> just to make it more more visible and now here we have first platoon uh, second platoon and third platoon okay the question is where do we want to place them so let's turn on the line of sight tool and let's find out the ridge here is is promising but it's not perfect the idea is to keep under fire control B470 highway that's the goal so preferably <coughs> I would like to place some units let me turn it turned off for, for, for now some elements around Schlossberg Hill and also I wouldn't mind to have one platoon uh, north of Stein Steinach is it Steinach I think so uh, so somewhere here there is no much cover though uh, so I have to take that into consideration but as you can see uh, those positions are are really are really solid so probably I will try to exploit them I think so yeah there's a cover 90% and concealment 97 same for that hex of course I will place air defense element which is a single stinger section alongside uh, my tank platoons and that's because I need to protect them uh, my air defense assets are very limited as you've noticed already so <coughs> let's start let's start deploying them uh, we will grab first platoon also of course they they, they, they need some time uh, before they reach the position but I think we have enough time to do so so uh, first tank platoon will be positioned uh, where Oh, that hex is also not bad it provides a nice overview on that area and also it should be able to fire support uh, those elements uh, south of how is that called marked per oh, no clue I'm, I'm not gonna say it right no no way marked per girl okay now I can see so first platoon where I should where I should place you maybe maybe that hex is the right right uh, position for for them from that location I can provide some fire support for those elements south uh, I think this is this is actually good idea also I can place it here there's a little little okay now not really it's it's not good okay that hex so that hex is my my destination for first uh, first platoon but let's start with SOP <coughs> before we start plotting the the movement because you know the default SOP has to be updated before doing so well well it doesn't but it's easier I guess so let me find out the default SOP for tank stay and fight is the one uh, I think I would like to use don't relocate engage at max range no standoff range high loss tolerance 
this is correct but we would like to slightly modify it tactical initiative moderate acceptable losses also moderate no standoff that's correct fire discipline maximum range relocate when never that's correct movement preference concealment mm, roads we can turn on roads as well and then carriers when empty well it doesn't apply it's grayed out uh, resupply trigger at 25% uh, it's too high I think we'll decrease it down to 15 and we'll change readiness to recover to percentage of course we cannot change that somehow I don't get it so it is what it is we will apply to all units of same type and that also includes HQ I don't want to include HQ into that so only my tank platoons boom I will also just apply to this in later unit order despite the fact that this order will be will be changed so that's done and now we can plot uh, the movement order we will start with move hasty and we will move hmm how to get here the quickest way I think we'll move down south to the to the objective from that place to <coughs> to Steinach from Steinach to the junction of that rail track uh, and we will follow the rail track up to that location okay actually let me let me make one more one more uh, point we will of course select hold and I will change it slightly uh, t -t -t like that okay so up to that point we will move hasty from that point we'll move deliberate mm, and that should be should be fine let me take a look <coughs> the last uh, movement order switch to move deliberate that's correct and you need around 24 minutes this is this is a good result perfect so let's grab second tank platoon we can even stack them I think it's not a huge problem and the second tank platoon will go probably here yeah that hex looks looks solid solid to me they should be able to provide some uh, some crossfire together, support each other at least slightly. You can see that the division is is different for for those two hexes, but that should be that should be good enough. The other option is to place place another tank platoon uh, hex behind, which is also the hex a bit higher. But I feel like it provides less vision than than this hex. Let me take a look. Or actually, maybe this is this is a better location. Hmm. I'm wondering now. This is a good location. I'm not uh, not gonna lie. But honestly, I. I think I would prefer to keep here my air defense. Yeah, we'll place a stinger section here. So, okay, we'll move our tank platoon to that hex I'm I'm pointing pointing right now, and I think we'll follow similar similar path. So down here, uh, maybe it's quicker moving north. We'll we will change that, and we'll we'll check it like that uh, probably mm, here let's commit of course we will select hold maybe that's gonna be quicker 20 minutes only okay good oh well we have to modify the last movement order to oh no th those are all move delivered I'm sorry so let's move to let's switch to move hasty We'll only select the last one as move delivered. Let's apply. The time is still the same. I don't really understand it. Why it's why it's the same? Huh. 
It's very interesting. Doesn't really it doesn't really affect uh, how quickly we we get what get here. What if I switch to move deliberate? No, the time is still the same. So what's the point of selecting move hasty then? It should decrease the uh, time, right? Very interesting. Not gonna lie. Although. Doesn't doesn't it change path that it follows? Let me switch again to move hasty. This is very very weird. It doesn't really matter honestly. Okay, so we'll select the third and the fourth move as a move deliberate, and we'll keep first and the second as move move hasty. But I don't get why it's not modified at all. Also, why they move like? here instead of crossing the bridge that's another weird thing look at that interesting okay anyway let's let's leave it as it is uh, on the other hand let's switch switch back to first button and let's modify its path yeah well it saves two minutes fair enough so maybe we'll switch also the fourth move to move deliberate since it doesn't affect time. It's gonna be a bit safer. Okay. What else? Uh, third tank platoon, and let's find place for 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 that little little boy. I've been considering <coughs> the hex here north. I'm just not sure about that since uh, it provides. Only 52% cover and 61% concealment. <coughs> of course, for for tanks, uh, cover uh, cover mm, concealment is not as important. Uh, but honestly, I would prefer to use 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 that cover uh, cover feature where we could place it. There is still a couple of good good locations uh, but I would like to focus on defending the the northern approach so one pat first button is going here second button is going here so we have either that hex or or that hex to select from uh, and how does it look like I think that the, the right one it, it looks solid the left one provides a little bit more overview towards the the western side uh, that's also interesting option so maybe as a safety measure we can we can place it here why not okay that's the plan we'll put the third platoon in and say and see and from that location we will move towards towards uh, destination and I think we can follow quite similar path this way and up here uh, of course comet and we'll we are selecting the hold mm, order 19 minutes what if we switch to hasty is that is that going to modify anything no fair enough okay let's let's leave it as it is uh, now the question about HQ HQ can stay where? Uh, it doesn't need to be very close since we are not going to move forward. I think we can stay in that village down here. Mm, now the range to HQ is free. Uh, let me calculate what it will be if we if we stay here. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay something around six seven now to that hex uh, one one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven a bit too much okay so maybe we will place our HQ somewhere here mm, that might be the option okay let's let's try it let's apply SOP first uh, the one for HQ hide and screen 
Relocate while spotted, large stand of range, don't fire until fired upon, large initiative, avoid losses, this is correct. Quick look at the manager. Preferred stand of range of 8 hexes, will decrease it to 6, which is around 3 kilometers. Tactical initiative generous, of course, acceptable losses, preferably minimal. Fire discipline, hold until fired on. What do we have here? 2 Abramses, okay. Fair enough. Uh, relocate when, while enemy spotted, uh, after receiving enemy fire. If they decide to bombard me, uh, either with artillery or air support, because of uh, SIGINT reconnaissance, then uh, I think we would like to relocate when when something when something happens, uh, movement preference will select roads. Additionally, uh, transports uh, that doesn't apply, and re resupply and recovery in general it doesn't really matter for for that unit. So, apply to this unit only. Apply to this and later unit orders. And now let's plot uh, some movement order, and we will get get here. Let's commit. We can screen. Uh, so by doing so, we'll get some additional defensive bonus. It looks good. Okay, perfect. Uh, we still have air defense element uh, supporting that that group. Uh, let me take a look at SOP. SOP is updated already, which is beautiful. Okay, and I think this hex we are going to occupy for for them is either Schlossberg itself or maybe the place right of uh, Schlossberg Hill yeah we'll we'll get in get in there that that particular hex is is our destination so oh I've selected move delivered let's move hasty mm, and we'll follow what path uh, here Probably here, like that, and on top of that, rich. Let's commit. Of course, we'll hold some additional bonus. It's always nice. We'll switch to move deliberate. Last two orders. Thirty-four minutes. You are you are traveling by jeep. Why is, why is that going to take so much time? Okay, probably because of the low mobility. Yeah, twenty-seven percent mobility. 15% mobility, here even 5, 6, yeah, mobility is very, very low in such terrain, so yeah, it's it's hard terrain for Jeep, but hopefully they will make it, well, it's 4x4, four four, so they should easily make it. Uh, okay, that's done, and now we are left with some HQs and also full A company, and also the mortal platform. Is it platoon? No, it's a company. Okay, yeah, six mortars. Fair enough. The question is what we want to do with uh, with a company. There are two options, I guess. We can either reinforce the defense of last two objectives, set up that company uh, over here as the last resort defense, kind of Alamo position, or we can try to move north with them. By doing so, we can move towards Uffenheim, from Uffenheim to Utenhofen, from Utenhofen across the open field, uh, up to those ridges north of Bad Windsheim. And from those ridges, we can go towards Bad Windsheim itself and capture it if possible. By doing so, we are able to attack enemies rare. So we can either neutralize their HQs, quite valuable target. We can also neutralize some artillery elements. I'm pretty sure they will station somewhere somewhere in the area. So I think with, with our range of TOW 2 uh, equipped uh, in Bradley's, I think we, we, we could easily manage to, to, to destroy those elements. The highest priority is, of course, HQ. Uh, but it's it's slightly risky move if we uh, if we get attacked by enemy attack helicopters mm, 
that's gonna be painful because probably that compartment will evaporate quite quite quickly. Uh, on the other hand, there is also one more benefit of going to Bad Windsheim uh, from from northern direction. We can then recapture some of those objectives. I assume that bulk of enemy forces will be will be focused on penetrating our defense south, so we can take that chance and and just recapture simply the objectives and holding the, the highway and also at the same time attacking enemies rare so this is quite this is quite valuable or uh, promising a p uh, perspective for us quite risky though because by doing so we are also uh, dissolving our forces into into multiple directions and reducing our our available firepower so uh yeah, it's something to 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 consider definitely. But I think we'll risk it. It's gonna be a bold move. So let's start deploying a company elements uh, close to Uffenheim. First platoon. Where is the second platoon? Second platoon is here. We'll stack them. So two platoons together. Behind them we'll place uh, third platoon. Where where are you? You are here. Boom. Uh, third platoon. With the third platoon, we'll place air defense section uh, and also HQ. Boom behind them, and we have also anti-tank platoon and anti-tank platoon stacked with with HQ, and that's that's the plan. Uh, let me take a look at SOPs though, the default one. Okay, that looks correct. For air defense, I'm pretty sure it's correct also. So only anti-tank platoon. Uh, the default SOP. It looks it looks correct. Okay. We could though change tactical initiative for them to be uh, generous instead of moderate. And since they are going to to attack, I think this is this is the right choice. So let me do so. Uh, let's start with first platoon, default SOP, tactical initiative, generous. Uh, other than that, I think rest of options stay the same. Apply to this unit only. I could use apply to all units of same type, and I can just unclick uh, B uh, company. Okay, perfect. Let's proceed. Beautiful. That was smooth. Now let's go to anti tank platoon. Uh, let's see, uh, it has also technical initiative moderate, we'll switch to generous, let's apply, uh, let me take a look at air defense section, default uh, tactical initiative, boom, generous, rest looks, looks okay, let's apply, now HQ, what's the HQ default? Order uh, HQ consists of one M2A1 Bradley and M113A tr uh, APC. Tactical initiative general, acceptable loss minimal, uh, hold until fired on after receiving any fire. Uh, that looks good to me. So it stays as it is. Mm, so now let's start uh, plotting some movement orders. First, I would like to I would like to find out by using that uh, reconnaissance section where are the enemies and whether they are moving uh, towards northwestern approach. Uh, this is quite crucial because if they if they are going to do so, I may need to set up some defenses around uh, Kustenlor uh, area or Mulbach uh, or try to. Uh, extract exploit those those forests around of course that reduces my, my my biggest advantage which is the range of of available assets but i uh, i may not have the other plan on the other hand if i don't give them orders first i will slow them down uh, by around 20 minutes which is which is maybe not quite crucial since the scenario lasts for six hours, but still, it's it, it it's gonna have some effect, especially that we will will move across very uh, very problematic terrain, especially uh, for 
for Jeep. Or actually, here we have Bradleys. They should they should do fine in such terrain. Shouldn't be a huge huge problem. Okay, so let's let's start let's start moving. We will move hasty. Now let's find how we want to do so. Are we going to select the longer path? So we will move towards Ulsenheim and from Ulsenheim then s behind those ridges north? I think so. We will do so. Okay. We are trying to avoid being spotted by, by enemy reconnaissance elements. That's the plan. Mm, and from Ulsenheim we will set up around around that area. For now we will commit. You can screen and let me let me check. Okay, you are going to need an hour to do so. Let's move that third uh, third point somewhere somewhere else. For example, here. Thirty five minutes. That looks better. Okay, we can we can we can do so. We'll keep move hasty now. Let's grab. Second platoon will move also hasty, boom, to Olsenheim and to Hex nearby. Let's commit, we will screen. What's the time? 37 minutes. Perfect. Now, third platoon. Uh, move hasty, same, Uffenheim, North Uffenheim to Olsenheim. Uh, from Ulsenheim we can we can set up uh, set up here. Let's commit. We will screen, of course, for now. Uh, what's the time? 43 minutes. Okay, that's longer. Now our air defense section move hasty. It's quite similar path, but you, I would like to set up on top of the ridge. And that's because uh, we may find out some some combat aviation of the enemy. And if I if we place here, we are going to have a chance to to destroy them. Yeah, that should that should work fine. Uh, let me just take a look at SOP. There is one option I'm uh, very curious. Passengers disembark at range zero from end of path. Uh, for air defense section, I think that's fine. I'm wondering now. No, that's that's fine. We'll just switch the last uh, movement order to move deliberate just in case. And 51 minutes that's gonna take you. What if I switch to move hasty? No, it doesn't affect at all. Okay, so 51 minutes. Wow, that's gonna take some time before we reach Bad Windheim. Is there any? Better, better way to get into Bad Windheim. Oh, instead of capturing those hills, we could start moving westwards behind those ridges. Those are open fields. The mobility is quite high. Seventy percent, seventy percent. Here slightly less. Forty-two, twenty-three, seventy-two, seventy-two. Yeah, here we could reach quite, quite smoothly. But I'm not sure what enemies will do. If they don't decide to attack towards Ergersheim, Zenheim, Rudolfshofen and so on, towards Offenheim, uh, then fine, we can we can start relocating uh, and uh, moving across the, the, those open fields, which is better terrain for, for our forces. Uh, but we'll find out. Mm, what else? We have HQ. HQ will move to Ulsenheim and we will station here for some time. Of course, we will screen. And we have also anti tank platoon. And that anti tank platoon will also move to Ulsenheim and stay in Ulsenheim. Let's commit. We will screen. What's the ETA? 27 minutes. Okay. Uh, what about HQ? 27 minutes as well. Okay, good. So copper more, copper more elements left, and those are mostly HQs and mortar company. Mm, what's that? That's my. What what kind of HQ it is? 
uh, HQ MTR 115. Okay, so that's the HQ for my for my mortar platoon, a uh, mortar company. I'm sorry. Where do we want to place uh, that guy? This is this is a great question. What's the maximum range of of it? Uh, let's turn on subunit inspector. 6.8 kilometers. Okay, that's that's a that's a nice range. Not gonna lie. So let's select one of the predefined SOPs, and we will select the artillery. That's the mortar. Relocate after receiving any fire. One kilometer stand of range. Large initiative. Avoid losses. Okay. Let's uh, see under SOP manager. Technical initiative generous, acceptable losses minimal. Uh, preferred standoff range two hexes correct. Fire discipline hold until fired on. They are not going to fire with, with, with such fire discipline. Maximum range. Let's switch it. Relocate when after receiving any fire correct. Uh, movement we will will select roads as well uh, resupply trigger at will decrease it down to 20 and we will also switch that readiness uh, apply to this unit only to this and later unit orders and now let's close it let's turn on SOP and here we have maximum range mark oh uh, let's find a place for it hmm could also place it here, not really. No, this is not a great great location for, for it. <laughs> here we cannot. Okay, here we could. Also I would prefer to stay rather invisible for, for the enemies. Oh, we could place it or also here. Okay, that sounds not bad here maybe okay yeah we'll stay here that's fine this is the correct position let's uh, bring in its corresponding HQ the HQ can stay very close to it it's somewhere here for example nicely protected from all directions oh one thing one thing I'm sorry this is on call okay that's correct are you under FSCC control? You are. Okay. Hopefully that's gonna work. Now, uh, HQ, corresponding HQ, hide and screen, proceed, boom. Mm, let's wait, wait a second. Wait a second. I'm pretty sure. Let's go back to mortar on call. Is it correct with default? Yeah, it is. Okay, just making sure that everything is in place. Now let's go back to its uh, HQ. Uh, default, tactical initiative generous, acceptable losses minimal. Uh, stand of range is too high. We'll decrease it down to two hexes as well. Hold until fired on while enemy spotted after receiving any fire. What do you have, by the way? Oh, two common vehicles. Fair enough. Movement will select your routes as well. Resupply trigger doesn't really matter. Apply to this unit only and apply to this and later unit orders. Perfect. And you are screening, you will hold some additional defensive bonus. Okay. Two more HQs left. Uh, let me take a look. Uh, Okay, that HQ suffers because of range to main HQ, and your main HQ is is that HQ. Mm, that's the company HQ, if I'm correct. Yes. Uh, where we would like to place uh, those those gentlemen? Two Bradleys. Okay, doesn't represent a high uh, combat value. So maybe in the forests, will it work? Okay, that, that that HQ will also suffer because of range to company HQ. Murbach. Hmm. Let me take a look. That looks fine for uh, B company HQ, 16 hexes. 
uh, for you, my dear friend. Twin, it's still four two. Okay, that distance will will increase by by much if we move here. Hmm. I think we we don't have any other option to do so. By the way, why do you range to HQ ten? Where is your HQ? Wait a second. I've selected wrong HQ, right? Yeah. Okay. That's the mortar HQ. <laughs> Fair enough. Now it's that. Okay. Never. Never mind. Uh, we have to, of course, update its SOP. So yeah, small mistake. Mm, where it is? HQ hide and screen. Boom. Let's now go to uh, default. SOP, let's decrease it to down to two hexes, let's also decrease acceptable losses to minimal, hold on to the fire on, relocate when after receiving any fire, preferences will select roads, and now that's that's correct, apply to this and later unit orders, this is all good. Now, the uh, HQ, comp um, company HQ, boom, in Murlbach. Okay, you are suffering by two hexes, 22 by 20 maximum, okay. Uh, what about you? You have 13. Okay, I think that positioning the company HQ in Mürlbach is is correct choice. Let me just take a look at uh, SOP. Preferred stand of range, four hexes. Acceptable losses minimal. Hold on the fire on. Relocate when after receiving any fire. Maybe in that case uh, we'll switch fire discipline to no 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 relocate to while enemy spotted. Let's 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 give it a try. And what what else? I think. It looks good, so let's apply to this unit only and to this in later unit orders. You are using screen. Uh, I think I would prefer to switch to hold for that additional defensive bonus. Why not? Okay, and that looks solid. And now we are left with uh, Brigade HQ. What do you have, by the way, that Brigade HQ? Okay. Oh, there is also a question. Will be will be that HQ in range of our air defense systems? Because if they find out where we are, five kilometers. Oh, you won't be under my air defense umbrella. So we may need to switch to to different location, which is uh, Habelse. And now we we should be under air defense protection. Yeah, this is quite quite crucial. Last time, uh, not last time. I think that was a tutorial scenario. I completely forgot about that. And my HQ has been demolished by enemy attack helicopters. So now we we can we can protect it, and we will do so. This is this is important. And same for our brigade HQ. We don't have any air defense elements, I guess. No, we don't. So our brigade will station. Hmm. Let me select that unit and let me. Okay. Uh, so we will bring our our a brigade HQ to that village. I guess this is a village. We will hide it here. That's the plan. Okay. Let's do so. So let's turn off turn off uh, LOS. Let's select SOP, hide and screen as a default one. We'll of course uh, slightly modify it. Preferred stand of range, eight hexes. Let's decrease it to six. Acceptable losses, minimal. Hold until fired on. Uh, while enemy spotted. Yeah, I think so, that's, that's fine. We'll select also movement preference uh, on roads as well. Uh, Kyres when empty high nearby. I think rest looks looks good. This is HQ, so it doesn't 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 matter that that much. They they have to survive. That's the main goal for for HQ because they are responsible for trans transmitting orders between 
uh, between units, uh, combat units. Uh, apply to this in later unit orders, of course. And now let's let's uh, plot movement order. We'll move hasty, and we want to get in there. So single single point. We will hold. Okay, yeah. That 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 path is 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 fine. On the other hand, we could station also here. There is Ense. Uh, let me take a look at the LOS. Uh, it is under our our protection, but it th that that location is more visible. It's it's the open ground north of it. So let's move to that uh, to that village uh, south of how it's it called Enzerberg. Of course, I cannot see. So Enzerberg Berg. I think there is a Berg uh, word. Okay. Looks like everything is set up. Wow, it took 42 minutes to to set up half of my half of my forces. This is this is huge. But anyway, let me just take a look. Is everything placed where I want it? I think so. Okay. Perfect. So I think we can we can finish finish episode uh, for today. Uh, so I hope you I hope you enjoyed and hopefully see you in the next one where we will finally start running our first uh, command cycle. So once again, thank you and goodbye.